Hi guys, it is a cool, blah, fall day here in the end time from South Austin, Texas. Looking like November. It is actually Friday, November 13th, 2015. Friday the 13th. Oh boy. <laughs> what luck will this day hold for this planet? I can only imagine where pretty much every day has become Friday the 13th. And since it is Friday, before I become a clueless moron and head out to some three-day bluegrass festival in the rain outside of Austin, it is your lucky day because I get to squeeze in my weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant where I share with you my newsletters from Center for Biological Diversity and mongabay.com who've just been traveling all over this planet this country and this planet in the past week while i've been in a gas sucking truck getting back to texas so we're going to start with center for biological diversity's endangered earth newsletter who announcing and they were supposed to have sent me the t-shirt that i was planning to wear today to announce is it national no it is world vasectomy day today is world vasectomy day will you like I get whacked for wildlife there you go get whacked for wildlife and it was actually on the mainstream media today I guess they've actually got thousands of men to take the ultimate uh, unzip to pull their pecker out of their pants one more time to get met with a razor blade. Hallelujah, as I did at age 22. I love this. <clears throat> Choosing to have fewer or no children is one of the best ways to reduce your carbon footprint. Uh, choosing to have fewer or no children is not one of the best ways to reduce your carbon footprint. It is hands down, bar none, combined every other thing you can do to reduce your carbon footprint. And you know, not so much your carbon footprint, it's every other person following you in your little gene pool their carbon footprint from here to eternity sterilizing yourself hopefully before you have your first little planet nibbler is the number one best thing you can do for this planet bar none there there is no second place favor you can do this planet keep your pecker in your pants or when you pull it out stop by a razor blade anyway from world vasectomy day <clears throat> what else is going on I've already mentioned this one uh, <clears throat> a couple of days ago Oregon strips wolf protection there you go I guess they're one survey saying 81 wolves, one survey saying 83 in the entire state of Oregon. We have, <clears throat> we'll call it 82 wolves in the entire state of Oregon, but the state of Oregon has decided that's enough, enough wolves that they're, they're doing fine here. Everything is fine with wolves in Oregon. Quote from the center, this is a purely political decision made at the behest of livestock and hunting interest. That is exactly what it is. Okay, and of course the center weighing in on Barack Obama saving the planet by <clears throat> rejecting the Keystone Pipeline. Yes. And so why exactly did he reject it according to these uh, 
Let's see. It was it was rejected because of all the no keystone rallies where millions have sent comments and uh, and opposition. All of us won because together we stood strong to defeat this pipeline, sending an unmistakable message demanding a healthy, livable planet for all. That was bullshit. Yeah, yeah, right. The reason Keystone Pipeline is not being built has nothing to do nothing to do with the millions of comments and, and their goddamn rallies and all this. It has to do with the fact that the price of oil is one half of what it was back when they were talking about this thing. Anyway, uh, I guess the uh, ends justify the means, right? And then a related story to that is talking about this uh, opinion piece in the New York Times by one of the center staff writer Lydia Millet. Obama should let fossil fuels lie. Uh, <laughs> fossil fuels already lie, but they don't. They don't lie nearly as well as Obama. Uh, how about? Well, the fossil fuels have been letting Obama lie. Uh, for how many years now? Seven. So I guess uh, Obama can let some fossil fuels lie. So this is this uh, never-ending struggle to uh, talk, to, to convince Barack Obama to end oil drilling on public lands. Uh, if you're not one of the 38 people on planet Earth who watch my rant uh, about Barack Obama in his own words, bragging about how he has opened up millions of acres of our public lands in 23 states and offshore to produce more oil in his administration than George W. Bush ever did in his wildest wet dreams. Make no mistake about who the president is who has brought more fossil fuels out of this ground of our public lands than any president in history. Jesus. Get a clue, people. Here, you know, this story about uh, stop zoo imports of wild African elephants. Th this is a story. You know, at first I, I was not even going to mention it about that this is uh, these 18 elephants coming from Swaziland. Uh, but, but guess what? Guess how many elephants are left in the country of Swaziland right now? There are 39 elephants in the entire country and Swaziland has sold 18 of those to U.S. zoos, which will pretty much cut the population damn close to half of what it was in this one shipment of 18 elephants. You know, here is guys, and you know, I'm actually gonna be an optimist here. This is your old doomsday optimist. Uh, I, I'm sure being completely naive, more than one million speak out to save Oak Flat. This is this, uh, this place over there in Arizona's Tonto National Forest where Senator John McCain worked some, you know, some slimy backroom deal with these with these planet eaters I'm sure with uh, Barack Obama uh, you know nudge nudge wink wink they're give, they're blaming it on John McCain that they're gonna turn uh, this 
this Navajo Indian sacred site inside the Tonto National Forest into the single largest copper mining project in North America. Uh, quote, people nationwide are outraged and won't let our public lands and American Indian sacred sites be destroyed for profits. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, well, we'll see. You know, this one, this one is so over the top, guys. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we're gonna succeed on this one. I will probably be eating my new Cabela's hat on, on that ridiculous statement. But here on Friday the 13th, I'm cheering them on. And finally, ban new offshore drilling off the west coast good luck on that one all right and hats off to our planet saving senator barbara boxer and other democratic senators for introducing the west coast ocean protection act to spare future generations the perils of this reckless form of fossil fuel extraction. Yep, 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 yep. Good luck to that. But anyway, let's go over to the rest of the planet here on Friday the 13th. We're going to go over to Manga Bay's newsletter. <clears> Her <throat> first story To kill or not to kill, scientists debate specimen collection. Yep, here is an optimistic call for saving life on Earth. An optimistic call for saving life on Earth. Okay, moving along. <coughs> Several stories on this. <coughs> I guess I. Uh, I guess a good, some good news here on Friday the 13th. We're going to do hats off to that planet eater down in Peru, President Oscar Humala. I guess uh, the same week that Oscar Humala was pledging to uh, grow the Peruvian economy to a minimum of 6% per year. Uh, by opening up more of Peru to mining, by ramping up mining and turning Peru basically into one big strip mine, <clears throat> a gold mine or whatever. I guess <coughs> he also uh, created this new giant, uh, new national park, three million acre National Park in the Peruvian Amazon. Good for you. You know that it's been it's been hung up for years, <clears throat> but they finally worked it out <clears throat> where this contest <coughs> <coughs> this contested portion that the oil drillers wanted on the the northern end. I guess the oil drillers <clears throat> got the northern end of the the park and so once that was settled uh, about the oil drillers so we're, we're gonna have this new national park we already have a new logging road coming in from the east I'm sorry coming in from the west and we got the oil drillers they got their little piece of the pie promised <clears throat> so uh, you know, good for Oscar Humala, but, but anybody who believes that uh, by drawing this line on this piece of paper on a map of the Peruvian Amazon means that there's not going to be any planet eaters in this new three million acre park. We've got, we got one thing to tell you. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's bullshit. Uh, as, as the articles state, it will slow them down. 
the national park designation will slow down the planet eaters. All right, here, I don't know, guys, what to call this from Peru right next door to Brazil. <clears throat> Brazil Climate Change Report warns of failed hydropower and crops. Uh, Brazil now gets 78% of its electricity from hydropower but decreased rainfall could cut river flows by 38 to 57 percent between now and 2040, sharply decreasing energy generation. And of course, while this uh, report is coming out, we got the Belo Monte Dam under construction. We got this new giant. Uh, Belo Monte Twin in the Tapajos River Basin cranking up uh, <clears throat> as reduced water flows could make hydroelectric power generation financially untenable in the Amazon. <coughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, Let's see. There's a good. I just got. I just got to skip ahead. Uh, here's forest could see big gains in climate talks. Warning! Warning! Bullshit alert! Yes. Yes. Anyway, moving on. I love this story. Saving the unicorns using to, using the sun to produce fresh water and saving unicorns in the Middle East. That was bullshit. Okay. Let's all save the unicorns. Alright, uh let's see. Let's go over to Southeast Asia. ASAP reserving I'm sorry reversing the decline of critically endangered species in Southeast Asia this is the Asian Species Action Partnership oh god uh, for, for as long as we're over there uh, th this is right next to that story we have reversing declines. So then we have, uh, as part of this, <coughs> oh God, we have Indonesia bans, <coughs> Indonesia bans peatlands destruction. Indonesian President Joko Widodo has banned clearance and conversion of peatlands across the islands. Huh. Yes, uh, anyway. The batteries really are running out here. I need to get new batteries. Caution detected. Take precautions. Oh, uh, here is, let's go over there to Cambodia. Concern grows for jailed Cambodian activists and civil rights crackdown. I, I, I bet it does. I can't believe they were only jailed. This is a bunch of these tree huggers from the environmental group Mother Nature Cambodia have uh, been thrown in prison for their campaign to stop the dredging of sand. And, oh, okay, well, those were the lucky ones. Those were the lucky ones because uh, next to them, we have forest rangers killed in Cambodia while patrolling for illegal loggers. Yeah, so these, these two forest rangers... Uh, patrolling a, a protected 
forest reserve, I guess they literally confiscated the chainsaws. They, they confiscated the chainsaws from these illegal loggers and for that decision they, they got bullets through their heads. Let's see, let's go back to Indonesia again. Uh, Jesus, Indonesia losing billions from illegal logging. Yes, you think so. Dee, 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 dee. Here, here, here we go. <clears throat> you, you, you know, guys, all, all you can do, you, you know, the only thing left to lose on Friday the 13th is your sense of humor. <clears throat> With wildfires wreaking havoc across Indonesia, <clears throat> Malaysian state targets greener palm oil. Greener palm oil. I didn't. I didn't know palm oil could get any greener than it already is. Yes. So this is a Malaysian state of Sabah pressing forward with a plan to certify 100% of its palm oil as sustainable palm oil. Right. It looks like th this is this is their spin on Barack Obama. Uh, th this is Manga Bay's spin. I, I can't make this shit up, guys. You know I love Manga Bay. They're uh, for some reason, if nothing else, for the comedy they provide every week in the middle of the tragedy. This is their spin. You want this is their headline on Barack Obama banning Keystone. <clears throat> it looks like. We may be headed for a more pro-animal future. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Uh, we may be headed for a more pro-animal future. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, here is leaked report reveals massive illegal logging in Laos. Gee, take a wild guess where all of this illegally logged uh, forest in Laos is going. How about to China and Vietnam as this uh, leaked report admitting uh, almost 10 times the amount, 10 times than the country's officially registered harvest. You know, this is Laos, guys. This is one little country. Uh, I, I, I'm constantly, this is this the latest example of, of these deforestation rates being reported, uh, the, uh, the official deforestation rates being reported to the United Nations. It is unadulterated horseshit. Anybody believing that these goddamn bullshit UN reports about deforestation dropping on this planet. This is one little country, Laos, giving one number to the UN while in their own reports that got leaked out admitting that the official number represented one tenth, one tenth of the of the actual number. And of course where it's going is to goddamn China. Let's go over there to India. And what's going on over there in India this week? Indian government cancels Greenpeace registration in India. There you go. So I guess Greenpeace is no longer being recognized in the country of India. Here is refinery
township golf course and boundary wall puts elephants at risk. Jesus, Re there you go. We have we have a a refinery. We have a golf course, and we have a boundary wall teaming up against the elephants. Oh Jesus. Uh, okay, let's just wrap up in, in the Brazilian Amazon before I head out uh, to a bluegrass festival. Uh, winding up in the Brazilian Amazon, <clears throat> there have been more than 11,000, more than 11,000 fires in just one region of the Brazilian Amazon this year. Uh, good God, I guess there's, as of a couple of weeks ago, there were over 900 fires burning on one day. 11,000 so far this year. And this isn't even the entire Brazilian Amazon. I don't know which section this is. And if the Pacific El Nino continues to strengthen, researchers expect fire risk in the Amazon to increase as well. And with that, I will wrap up my world vasectomy ecological roundup rant for Friday the 13th, November 13th, 2015. Uh, that noise you hear in the background, guys, is the Google Fiber. Google Fiber is literally, is literally eating its way down the street. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna run from Google Fiber and head out and join my clueless lovable friends at a bluegrass festival so there will be no more rants for several days bye guys